Very upsetting journey. But I'm rid of Pris, or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time, too, Alice. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. I've been down this road before. Good things in small packages? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. My god! I'm shrinking in this potion! Sh shall I disappear? Almost. But the upside is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah! I get it, quite. Forests for the trees, just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. The Vorpal Blade is swift and keen and always ready for service. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. Ah, it's you again, Alice. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners, and I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice, and you're just the dish, a girl, to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pick parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will. Made more graceful entrances. I suppose I must be grateful nothing's broken. Hatter, I recall leaving you in a decrepit condition. What? what? Not in pieces. Oh, it's you. What's happened here? You've lost your hat, and some parts are missing. Missing indeed, though things being what they are. I barely miss their missing. As to what's happened, you should know that better than I. It's your place after all. I know my place. When did you ever know your place, or how to keep it? Now what's going on? What's going on? Round and up and down into my ears and through my eyes, not my nostrils, down my gullet and whining in my guts. Papa was exceedingly fond of trains. I don't like them much. You won't like this one at all. Nothing like when Mock Turtle was in charge of the looking last line. This railroad's a bloody shambles. The stink is ferocious, the light blinding, the noise hellacious. Ah, oh, quite, Tata. I get the idea. A bad train. The world is upside down, Alice. Inmates run the asylum. No, thanks. And worst of all, I've left Tealess. 
tragic. If I do help, will you help me in return? Cross my heart, if I had one. Bind my limbs and toss them into the chute. Machines will do the rest. Be on your way now, that's a good girl. <laughs> Best way out is through the crock face. Finish my work and you're complete, Tatter. Now, what about this damnable train? I feel like a new man, or whatever I am. I feel like an unsprung spring, like an uncorroded gear, like an untarnished bit of metal that sticks in your eye. Answer me, Hatter. I'm suffering. And changes here are a cause, or they're a reflection, or the effect. What's going on? What are the new rules? The law is just, just a whisper away, away home to wonder, wonder who, who knows how to measure rules with a ruler. Cruel rules. <laughs> Idiot. I should have left you in bits. Come, the least you can do is help me discover what's going on. of the shaking. But are those two quaking? What are they up to? You'll never stop us, silly Hatter and Alice. It's left! You're too the late! Insolence, <laughs> the insolence, the arrogance, the oh. execrable table manners! They are destroyers of Wonderland! Defilers, denuders, derangers, delightful, especially... Did they actually create that infernal train to destroy Wonderland? What does that matter? They deserve to die! Ah! Put me down this instant! I ought to... Enough talk! Battle time, Missy! Abandon false hope! Forget the past! The damage is done! <laughs> Let the madness begin! Resume the folly! Better come aboard, Alice. We're doomed, of course. What? There's no hope then? Oh, there's an infinite amount of hope, but not for us. Now get up here. Ow! My body aches all over. We submerged too quickly. My ship's a wreck, and I am too. Admirals go down with their ships. In any case, I never knew you for a sailor. If memory serves, you were station master of the Looking Glass line. Change the subject. We avoid speaking about the thing whose name should not be spoken. Hearing something useful about this new train would make for a change? You don't respect the suffering of others. 
Go ask your questions and smart remarks to Caterpillar. I'm sorry, Admiral. Really. Please, tell me what you know about the train. I'll just say we've escaped a contaminating corruption. Count yourself lucky to be down here. But I don't want to escape. I want to stop it. I must stop it to save myself. And Wonderland too. Nonsense. Speak more nonsense. Diversions rule the day. The show must go on and so on. Speaking of shows... We weren't. Yeah, well, never mind. Here's a ticket for the show Carpenter's Mounting. Use it. Delighted to see you again, my dear. Your arrival is filled with fortunatality itself. Really? I didn't even know... Never mind. My pregnant show is about to pop. It requires only a medicament of your help velocity. I don't have much experience, but I do need to reconstruct my... We can barter. Have a nice screwdriver, nearly new, or a nice hammer if you're There's a train interested. that's corrupting Wonderland, and I'm looking for help to restrain or destroy it. Most vexatious, no doubt, will address that um, monstrosity directly. That's to say, eventually. Now, let's intermediate more important matters. Due to a logisterical foul-up, some of the show's requisites need to be gathered. It hardly seems you're ready for the show. Why can't you assemble these things yourself? An impresario has arrangements. Ducks in a row, fish to fry, calls to Newcastle, etc., etc. Fetch the script from the writer, then we can batter or clatter or natter, as the case may be. Is the writer cantankerous? To a personage of your distinguished repudiation? I blush at the notionality. He's an octopus, by the by. Lives over that way. Ta-da! I'm not terribly musical, but you seem out of tune. It's not my fault. I can't hear my notes. The pipes are obstructed. I can see that. Why not do something about it? And endanger my vocal cords. You might do it for Everyone me. Everyone here has an excuse for doing nothing. Reminds me of the asylum. There's something wrong. I can't find the time for the nerve. It's surely not lost. Perhaps mislaid. I suppose I'll have to help you carry the tune. Better be light. The audience will be grateful for I doubt it. The performers need your efforts will be enhanced by my musical score. Please wake them with this exciting news. My gosh, you're not an impresario, you're a killer! The mastermind of a criminal enterprise! This world is not so either or, Alice. And I've done your bidding. You did a few errands, got your hands dirty, big deal. The show distraculates the crowd, shame you'll miss it. You need to deal with these sailors. It's your time. Time? Time? The time has come to talk of ships and, uh, and, and vegetables and royalty and, uh, and whether pigs have wings and so on. Enough of that, walrus. You start wailing about there being too much sand on the beach, I'll have your blubber for breakfast. Shame on you, Carpenter. You made a promise. I had no choice. One can't always do as one would like. I'd have thought you'd know that by now. This bloody ruin! It's corrupting all of Wonderland! Seeking refuge from the wicked world? Perhaps things only look like they've gone to hell. You're not that good a liar, and I'm not that stupid. But something a bit less calamitous would have been welcome. This unmitigated disaster is your doing, and it will get worse. Your train keeps a hellish shit. Get moving. Time waits for no one. The change has begun. The train is perfectly capable of terrifying me, Cat. You should find another job. Is there really so little hope? There's even less, and if fear paralyzes you, we are lost. You are familiar with the saying that smoking stunts your growth? Adults assault children with that adage. 
usually while they've got a pipe stuck in their mouths. I won't ask you to inhale. Let the smoke envelop you. The wicked wasps lay siege upon us and control the peaks to east and west. You must defeat them to reach Caterpillar's retreat. I suppose I must go to the mountain top, as it won't come to me. We have faith that Caterpillar, the strange and wondrous, helps those in need. One day we'll have proof. Purity of heart is to will one thing. To approach his sacred eyrie, you must confront the savage Daimyos. You prevent our access to his power. I'll open the entrance to the sacred caves where your journey begins. A bridge will complete the path, but this substance has blocked the way. Can you help us to remove it? I believe I've got the proper tool. At the top of the mountain, you will find the entrance to the next sacred cave. You there, come close. I can recite Red Riding Hood backward. I know my multiplication tables, two elevens. I, I have intelligence. Hmm. Really? Persuade me. To remove the obstruction, wake the frog and empty his belly. Wake that? What about its tongue? A and the prospect of warts? Ooh. Anyway, how do you know? I imagined how it was done while I was sleeping. I've come all this way to find a simulacrum. If I had the time, I'd detail how often you prefer dealing with illusions rather than the real thing. Problems you refuse to deal with don't exist. You deny reality. That's not right. I know what's real. No? Then you allow others to tell you what isn't real. Now, come inside. to admire your handiwork, returning to the scene of the crime. It had to be done, Cat. You said so yourself. You and this Red Queen cannot both survive. She is a cancer in your body. Excise her or perish. Well, she was the face of evil in the heart of darkness. She didn't treat you too well last time. Lost your head, as I recall. She was completely deranged. You picked up her crown, but now you've put it down. You must speak to her, what's left of her anyway. The Red Kingdom's in ruins, but you're no better off. When you defeated her, I tried to reclaim the castle, but I was set upon by her monstrosities. The malignant royal bitch still reigns. I'm here to petition her. I must get inside. The only way in is through me. Sacrifices must be made. Those who say so usually mean they should be made by others. Cynicism is a disease. It can be cured. Once inside, beware of the outsized killer who patrols her domain. Never confront him. He is invincible. Now cut me loose. I'll show you the meaning of sacrifice. I was expecting someone else. You don't know your own mind! It's nearly a complete stranger. What you claim not to know is merely what you've denied. You've recaptured your vagrant memories. What are you doing with them? You once rejected my attempts to control our lives forcefully. 
Now you allowed another to succeed in my role. I won't miss your tentacles. You would prefer the hot, stinking breath and unyielding attention of a potent, unreasoning, unfeeling Hellraiser? I don't think so. Can you give me more than a warning? Caterpillar said you might help. I'd need a better reason to respond than what's currently on offer. If you don't, we're all doomed. Not doomed. Forgotten. I may survive here, but you're finished. You see the pattern of destruction? I know you do. The train is trying to destroy all evidence of your past, and especially the fire. Now, who would want that? Who benefits from your madness? The destruction of Wonderland is the destruction of me. Indeed, and vice versa. I've set it in motion. I can derail it. This is good for me. I'm not insane. I didn't kill my family. I am fine. I'm not mad. I'm innocent. I, I mean, not guilty. What's happening? What are you doing? The train must be stopped, but there's more to do. Your view conceals a tragedy. The whole truth you claim to see eludes you because you won't look at what's around you. The unstable are more than merely mad. They have other parts. The Dollmaker will deprive them of what remains of their deranged souls. They need care. I know their pain. I would assist, but is sanity required for the job? A limited quantity. You're not yeah. mad enough to be rejected. You're like them. Of them, in a way. But not them. I should say, not us. For I'm them, but you're on your way. The way is clearly marked. I believe I know that way, and I'd rather not travel further along it. Is here, you dimwit. <laughs> Get inside. No melody should soothe this outrage. Am I not the most wretched and selfish of fortune's fools? Oblivious, I live in a training ground for prostitutes. My mentor is an abuser and purveyor. I've been complicit with my sister's murderer and the killer of my family as he corrupted my mind. I sought relief from my pain and you turned me away from the truth. You are almost there, almost free from what you fear. You could have been cured. You could have forgotten. Abandon the memory of my family. They are dead. And you should be too. You misbegotten abomination! Murderer! You blood-sucking parasite! The damage you've done to children! The abuse! I provide a service. In the great and awful metropolis, appetites of all sorts must be gratified. My family! My mind! The infernal train! The train is your invention, your defense. I merely set its schedule the train is coming with its shiny cars, with comfy seats and wheels of stars. So hush, my little ones, have no fear. The man in the moon is the engineer. I'll stop that train, if it's the last thing I do. As you wish, it will be. You're lost. And where your body is, your mind will follow. Perhaps it's already there.
the past must be paid for. The cost of forgetting is high. 